So for example, if you move from your single family house into a condominium in your single family home, eventually you're gonna to have to replace windows and doors and a roof and repave the driveway and do all these sorts of things. And you'll have larger expenses from time to time that come up. Your furnace breaks down, you have to replace it. Your your roof starts to leak, you gotta replace it. Your driveway starts to crumble, you gotta replace it. And you'll have these large capital investments. Well, in a condominium, these are factored out over a number of years. And so you'll contribute to that fund over time. So it's nearly like a forced savings plan. Now here in Ontario, all condominium corporations are reassessed on a regular basis. So they can't get too far behind and uh, in their capital improvements. And they have to maintain a certain amount of money in their capital fund to be able to plan for these larger projects. So the next time you're looking at a condominium and you think the condominium uh, fees, the monthly fees are too high, you have to ask yourself, 